So let's hear from the other side of the aisle. We've got Republican Indiana Congressman Todd Rakita. Congressman, thank you so much for coming on. Hi, Kristen. You just heard from the Democratic congressman. He did not give a hard dollar amount in terms of yeah. where he might be willing to compromise. Are you willing to give one? Listen, I think we already gave on. I mean, we compromised. The president's compromised. It's $25 billion needed to put the wall where it's needed along the border, which isn't the entire border, but where it's needed, it's going to be $25 billion. That's the latest estimate. We have moved off that, Kristen, from $25 billion to a simple $5 billion. And I have to tell you, just as, as a member of the Budget Committee, although $5 billion is a tremendous amount of money, in budgetary terms, where we spend $4 trillion a year, mm -hmm. this is this much. The idea that a Democrat like uh, my friend who was just on, who loves to spend money every chance he gets, now has a problem, means this is just about politics. Well, since you bring up budgetary concerns and we want to talk specific dollar amounts, you know, the White House started at $5 billion. They reportedly went down to about 2.5. Democrats went from 1.6 to 1.3. I mean, when you really look at the math, 1.3 and $2.5 billion, while a big number, isn't all that huge in no. terms of Washington. So are we really willing to continue to keep the government shut down over just a small amount of money? Well, it is relatively. a it, budgetary, from a budgetary standpoint, it is a ridiculously small amount of money. Right. You're exactly right. And why we're quibbling about this mm -hmm. both sides it, it, it is beyond me because the Democrats have all voted for more funding for the wall before. It's just about denying the president any kind of accomplishment. And let's be honest, this is his big campaign promise and they are trying to deny that. But President Trump, like we're seeing with China in his negotiation, is going to uh, out-negotiate the Democrats here if we all stick together. And by all, I mean my squishy Republican mm -hmm. friends too. We have got to stick together. This isn't about 25 percent of the government being closed, Kristen. And look, we just had it closed for two weeks. No one really noticed. Well, it's no the holidays. One, true. And no one's going to notice anyway because it's 25% of the government that's closed right now is all non-essential employees anyway. So it sounds like you're willing to dig in and just keep the government shut down Absolute, for as long as it takes? For as long as it takes because the American people want this. This is what they voted for the president into office for. This is what they voted for Republicans for. This is only common sense. It's sane. Every sovereign nation on the face of the earth, Kristen, gets to do this. Why shouldn't we? So do you want President Trump to hold the line on his border wall at all cost, or is there any room where you would want him well, to sure. negotiate? Well, I, sure. I mean, as long as we have forward movement, that takes care of the next fiscal year, right? We can only, we're, we're only sp talking you, about a fiscal deal. Do you want President Trump to budge on his wall? Well, I mean, if, if there's other ways to achieve it, sure, we're happy to, to listen. But the fact of the matter is, uh, we need this wall. That is the point. Ask, ask the state of Israel. Ask the nation of Israel if they think a wall is effective. They do, because it is. And, and, and the Democrats even know it's effective. It's just about denying the president this. He shouldn't budge. He shouldn't, he shouldn't give in because the people that voted for him, the people that support him, which are a majority of the people in this nation, understand that we need to be sovereign. We need a wall. And this is the chance to get it done. So let me ask you this. Senator Lindsey Graham was just on CNN this morning. And he proposed $5 billion for the wall and border security, plus the Bridge Act, which is a, a three-year, one-time renewable work permit for all of the dreamers. Is that something that you would support? You know, I, that's something I would support, uh, you know, if, if it, I'll see the details of it. Uh, but we're not going to give away the store for $5 billion either. You know, if they want a, some bigger, grander deal, that's a different, that's much more than $5 billion. That's a guarantee that the wall will be completed. Everything else will be done as well. Happy to have all those discussions. It's long overdue. Uh, but the bottom line is any kind of victory will uh, the Democrats will want to deny. And that's, a, that's why the American people here are so important, not just your viewers, uh, but but all Americans chiming in with their congressmen, letting folks know that this is important, right? This is, there's a caravan of illegal aliens at the border. An uh, uh, officer in California was just killed by another illegal immigrant. So this is very real, and the people care about this. I want to ask you something about what President Trump tweeted yesterday. He tweeted that he essentially blamed the deaths of those two migrant children who died while in U.S. custody. He blamed them on Democrats. Do you blame Democrats for those children's death? I blame, yeah, I blame the Democrats. I blame anybody who thinks for political reasons that we don't need a wall. We do because not having a wall is inviting these people along with their children to make a very dangerous journey. That is inhumane. The most humane thing we can do is build a wall and send the correct message that there is not, don't take the journey. Don't make the journey. Don't, it's too dangerous. You're going to get hurt. 
but when we say come across our open borders we're not a sovereign nation like the Democrats do that was your question like they do mm -hmm. uh, then you invite this kind of trouble but even though President Trump controls the White House and Republicans control both chambers of Congress it's still the Democrats fault these two children's well deaths. the reason we're sitting here on our government shutdown is because we don't have 60 votes in the Senate I mean, so as long as that rule stays and we're not willing to, mm -hmm. to, to go to a simple majority vote in the Senate, then it's not the Republicans' fault. It's Chuck Schumer holding us up. Well, Congressman, thank you so much for coming thank on. You. Appreciate your insight and Happy New Year. Happy New Year.